Hello everyone. This is a video on installing an alternator on an RTV 900. This is one of the original and first uh, units made of Kubota. I think it's actually the first year. Left some tools. Let me grab these. The alternator is going to be placed right there. Mounts to this and screws. Here's the bottom connections. I would have had a video of me taking it out, however, it had failed. And in failing, it uh, the pulley stuck and froze and messed the the belt and broke the original one. This is the second one. It's a uh, Wilson 9029 The items you need to do the repair are basically 12 millimeter wrenches deep socket, short socket, 13 millimeter socket <coughs> and that is for this device that I'll show you. It's a cable clamp and there's just basically one nut, one bolt and I had to make a larger washer to hold the unit in. So let me go clean these off first. Excuse me. Alright, here's what it looks like cleaned up. And it just makes it tremendously easier to, to uh, work with because it has years of grime, dust, dirt built up. Just use the wire wheel. I did use my battery uh, charger. And what did I do? Did we blow a circuit breaker? That's not good. I, I got a failing GFI circuit breaker, but it was at 100% last night. Okay, the alternator goes in in this approximate position. The bolt on top will be there. There's a bolt I'm going to show you at the bottom that goes into place down low. Stand by. Okay. You'll see a bolt right there. It goes through the mount and that's the one I'm going to put in first on the bottom part of the, the alternator. Okay, let's see. All right, here's the orientation. I misled you. It uh, goes on this side. Finger. It goes on this side of the uh, unit. The one problem with this replacement one is it's not large enough to go <coughs> into the, the groove. So I have to use a larger washer and another uh, device, the cable clamp. And I'll show you how I do that. <laughs> okay, when the world fights you, it fights you. Okay, we're looking at the back here. This is the output cable. It's going to go to this red one. The red one. This connector has a T and it's going to go into the slot and I hope I'm getting this right. Okay, it's going to go into the slot here. All right? No, maybe not. Maybe yes, maybe no. Okay, yes. There's two sensors. Uh, let me get the Let me get the nut off for the battery. 
Okay. And I am disconnected. The ground is. Okay. 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 And the story of my life is a rubber stuff's in my way. Let me. I'm gonna just put it on. I'm gonna stop recording now. This is installed. I'm gonna cut this tie wrap here. There's the uh, power input, the connector for the alternator. This looks like it's a. Uh, <clears throat> it's going over to a uh, thermostat, and this down here looks like it's oil or a uh, some sort of sending unit. So that's about it. I'm going to start it and see how how it's going. All right. First, I'm going to come here and turn on the lights. Well, actually, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in min max. So it's going to record the high and the low voltages. I'm going to turn on the lights. Okay. These are flashing lights he wanted me to put on, and I did. <coughs> now let me come and sit in the mule. I'm sorry, it's not a mule. This is a R RTV, I think it's called the Kubota. Okay. Number one. And here going lower as the electronics are going on. And now the glow plugs are going. Now it's running and the alternator is working and it's charging. No noise. Let me back it out. Trying to miss everything like my truck. Okay, and also thank you for watching.